Today we are going to be walking through the dashboard page of my new system, the Calm and Clear system for ADHD entrepreneurs. This system is built in Notion and this is the main page that you will access majority of the time when interacting with the system that gives you a bird's eye view of everything in all areas of your life on one page. Let's jump in. After you have downloaded the system to your Notion, you will see that this is the main access page. This is going to give you a bird's eye view of everything that you have going on across the whole system. And it's done so in a few different ways. Right at the top here, eventually you will get rid of all of these tutorials here. And I recommend changing the name here as well as changing the icon. I like to put welcome my first name. I think that's a nice title, but you can make it whatever you want. And then down in this first section, we have our navigation, which is gonna take us to the other pages within the system. We have our weekly win. I like to put something here that just, I'm proud of myself for doing. Um, or maybe that I handled well, or just something that made me feel nice. We also have our quick snapshot. This is going to show us a few different views of our tasks in a smaller way. The first view that we have is the today's tasks section. That's gonna show me anything that is set for today. The second section is high priority. Some people do not like to use a due date task system. If you wanna use high priority instead of dates, you can simply mark any task as high priority and it will show up right here. The other thing that I have here is my daily rituals. Now, these can be anything. I think of this as synonymous with habits. However, I do not like the word habits. I don't really like, it just like has a not so great connotation for me. By calling them rituals for me, it's something that is like more fun that I want to participate in and I have found that that just works really good. These are the things that I do every day. They are recurring for me in my own system and if you would like to learn how to set that up, you just go in here, create a new template. Let's say we want it to be floss. We are going to set the due date here as today. That means when this is created, it will always set the date as today. And I'm going to set the category as a ritual. Everything else you can leave empty, click off of it. You now should have a template for floss. We're going to go right here and go to repeat. And I'm going to do daily. You can also though, if you'd like to do weekly, you can choose a few days. If you want it to be less something that's like Monday through Friday or just on the weekends, choose the weekly option. I'll be doing daily, hit save. Now we know it's going to repeat every single day. Floss will populate on here for now. I'm just gonna click it so that it shows up and it set the date as today. And then we will know that it will be there every day. So that's the rituals. And then I also have yesterday's tasks and rituals. If in case you are really busy and you forgot to archive your stuff from yesterday, oopsies, you can come here and you can archive them by clicking on this archive. Anywhere you see in the system, this store storage box icon, that means archive, or you can choose to go down here, archive all of yesterday's. We'll go ahead and do that and we'll get those out of there. That is our quick snapshot section. It is sort of just an overview of your tasks and your rituals. The next section here is a projects and sponsorships overview. This is going to give you a quick snapshot of any projects that you have and a project in this scenario can be anything that has multiple tasks. Anything that you need to have a bunch of tasks nested underneath it in this system is considered a project. And the circle here is going to show you, the green circle is going to be your task progress as you mark tasks off this list, it is going to adjust the progress bar here automatically. The green circle is how many tasks you have done associated with the project. The blue circle is how many content pieces you have finished. For instance, if you are doing a content sponsorship of some type and you have deliverables, as you mark these as done, you'll see right now it shows 33.3%. If I mark another one as posted, it's going to up the percentage every single time and increase that bar. That's a nice, really easy way to kind of see where am I at on stuff and make sure that I'm staying on top of things and not forgetting about stuff. The other thing that it shows you here is how many days left you have in the project so that you know if something is higher priority. This gives you a great overview. Say that you have a project coming up and you're like, I don't need to work on that for like six months and I don't want to look at it. Mark it as inactive or maybe something happens and a project gets paused 
paused. Then you have this inactive section where if you decide that you want to put some future things that you're not quite ready to work on but you want to jot down the ideas, you have an inactive section and it's really easy to mark it as inactive or remove it and it will put it right back in the project section. If you're the type of person who's like, I have a bunch of things I want to do but I don't want to look at them right now. So just put them over in inactive and they'll sit tight there for you. That is the first section of the dashboard. Moving on to section two. This section is going to be your tasks. Now you will see that there are a bunch of different views for your tasks. When I'm making a notion system, I know that different brains like to see things in different ways. So I make sure to include a bunch of different ways to look at things. You'll see the first option is all tasks and events by date. That means that these are categorized here by date. If you had today and tomorrow, it would have that there too. The nice thing about these groupings is you can close them as well. We also have an all tasks and events week view. I personally keep my notion on this week view here all the time. I think it is the best. You can easily move things around if you need to, um, to reprioritize. And it just gives me a really nice overview of the week to make sure that I'm staying on top of everything I need to. I also have a week view of the rituals. If you want to go back and look and see what you have done this week or mark anything is done that maybe you forgot, you can do that here too. Then going back to our tasks, we have all tasks and events by status. This is going to show you anything that is done that has not yet been archived. If we archive these, then they are going to disappear off our list. But sometimes I like to look at stuff after it's done. So that is why I have two different options, sort of, yes, you can mark as done, but it will not disappear off your list until you archive it, which is, I just, mm, I love that. So this is all of the, of the status. You can see everything that's not started, anything that needs a response or is in review and anything that is done. That's also why I love the week view because it too keeps the things that are done here. So you can just look at them and be like, oh, look at everything I did this week. It's fantastic. The other thing that we have is our project tasks. This is going to show us a list of tasks based on the project. So these are the projects up here and then any corresponding tasks will be below. This gives me a nice overview if I really need to be like, okay, what do I need to do and what do I need to prioritize? I just love looking at this view. And then we also have an all tasks and events by category. This is going to be split up into groups based on what business are they for? What part of your life are they for? Is it for content? Is it for health? Is it for a friend? Is it home? If you want to look at it this way, this can be nice if you really just want to focus on one concentration. Then we also have all of the archive, which is via date, which is nice. So you can go back and look at if you need to look at what you did last year in April to see that you did that task, how you did it. It's there. You can look at it anytime you need. And then lastly, we have an all tasks and events month view. So this is going to be a view of the month, which is really nice if you want to see stuff. And again, you can move things around really easily, which is great and make sure that you are having a look ahead or look past if that is what you need. So that is all of those views here. Again, I really like to keep mine on the week view. I think that is just chef's kiss, the most fantastic one. And the bottom section here is our information hub. The beautiful thing about this information hub is that it is fluid and you can put things here based on what you need to see. For instance, this is going to be anything that I have chosen to put in this location. And I'll show you what that means. If we come over here and we look at our content notes, some of these I might not need to look at very often. However, let's say I'm really using these chat GPT prompts a lot and I want them to be on that home page there. You can go ahead and choose information hub and then you will see that it will pop up here. So what this allows me to do is make this really fluid so that if I want to remove things or add things, I can do that at any time. Now these are just images. People ask me about this all the time. I just like to include these as extras because the more pictures I have in my notion, the more I'm going to want to use it. You can get rid of them if you want. You can keep them. You can change the image, but just know it's just there to look pretty. If we go to the all notes, you'll see that I have quite a lot of things in here. So sometimes if you're searching for stuff, it can take a while. Anything that I'm like, okay, I'm going to use the notes from this meeting all the time. I definitely want to put them in my info hub and then boom, there they are. That's super fluid. You also have all the notes that you've archived if you ever need to look through those and then content because I do a lot of content marketing and I'm constantly like screenshotting things on Twitter or downloading free guides. I will put them in here. That is why I have a content note tab as well. I find that's something I use quite frequently. If we want to remove it, we just delete it from the information hub and then it's gone. These 
also we have a word of the day and a quote if you would like to change the colors of these the app is widgetbox.app it's free you can check it out and make a bunch of custom widgets for yourself otherwise these will just stay brown i think they're pretty it goes with the theme so that is the entire dashboard page majority of the time when i'm working I'm on this page. It helps me see the things that I need to do right now, overview of my projects. Yeah, this is the page I'm spending the most time on.